Hi, I am Sasha Biharidal, a candidate attorney at PPM Attorneys. Today I'll be talking to you about identity theft and data protection. At PPM Attorneys, we stress the importance of privacy and data protection. However, one can fully appreciate data protection legislation such as Poppy when one is a victim of identity theft. So what is Poppy and how is it related to identity theft? The Protection of Personal Information Act sets conditions for organizations regarding the lawful processing of personal information. The objective of the Poppy Act is to protect people from harm and to protect their right to privacy. What is identity theft? Identity theft is a crime in which an imposter obtains personal information such as ID numbers, credit card information and physical addresses in order to impersonate the victim. It is a form of fraud which is defined as the unlawful and intentional making of a misrepresentation which causes actual or potential prejudice to another. What are the risks of identity theft? The most common risk is debt. The imposter will use your credit card information to make purchases, often leaving you with an excessively high debt. This can have a negative impact on your credit record and you may be unable to qualify for credit as a result. Another risk is that the imposter may give false information to the police, thus leaving you with a criminal record without your knowledge. To avoid an uneasy situation, it is important to keep your personal information private and if you are responsible for processing personal information, compliance with Poppy is imperative as non-compliance can result in a hefty fine of up to 10 million rand or 10 years in jail. Steps to take if you are a victim of identity theft. Number one, report the matter to the police. South Africa prosecutes the offence in terms of the common law and a person guilty of identity theft may be found guilty of fraud, forgery and uttering a forged document, depending on the circumstances of the matter. 2. Once you have reported the matter to the police, get a copy of the report and notify the credit card companies of the crime as soon as possible. 3. Close your existing bank accounts and change your pins and passwords. 4. If your driver's license has been stolen, you should renew your driver's license. When you renew it, the photograph and the license number will change and the imposter will then have the old one. 5. Alert the fraud prevention services immediately to prevent further credit being granted in your name. And finally, obtain legal advice. We are here to advise and assist you in protecting your personal information and reporting the person or entity that failed to sufficiently protect your personal information. If you are an organization, we will be able to advise you on compliance with Poppy. For more good, clear, precise advice, contact us.